Today is the release of a brand new RuneScape game mode, Trailblazer League Reloaded. The League lasts two months and is a fast-paced version of Old School RuneScape, XP is multiplied by up to 16 times, and a selection of quests get auto-completed depending on which regions you pick. The main feature of the League is the task system. You complete tasks and are rewarded with points, which are used to unlock powerful relics from eight different tiers, which accelerates your account even further. The biggest part about Trailblazer League is the regions. You start with only access to Mistelin and Karamja, but as you complete more tasks, you're able to unlock three more regions. Pretty confusing, I know, but I'll be daily uploading the entire league and taking you along my journey through all the relics and areas to give you a better understanding. Let's get into it. The worlds are finally up, log in, and I'm greeted by a million pop-ups, as well as the league tutorial, which I'm skipping right through. I'm given the option to unlock Karamja, which obviously I'm gonna do, and I'm picking Trickster as my first relic from tier one. Trickster allows me to earn passive agility XP while I'm literally just running through the game anywhere doing anything. It lets me pickpocket automatically without getting stopped and without having to re-click, which is really cool. And when I burn one log, it burns nine at a time. This relic helps with a bunch of things and it's super strong, and I think it'll help me throughout the entire league. Now I can unlock three more regions as I complete more tasks and eight different tiers of relics as I get more points. The tier eight relic is at 24,000 points, so that's definitely gonna take a couple of days to get to but we can definitely get a couple of tiers in, as well as complete enough tasks to get into my own regions. So let's get started and run through some quick tasks. At the start of the league, the first couple of tasks everyone rushes are kind of the same. I start in Lumbridge Thieving Men and locating the Air Altar. I then rake a farming patch on the way over to the Ham Hideout before pickpocketing Ham members for another task and to get 38 Thieving. Then I head over to Draenor to cry in the wheat field for another task and complete the Rooftop Agility course for two tasks. And then in Jack's fashion for leagues, I ran into my first problem. I tried to talk to Morgan to start this quest Vampire Slayer, and my client just completely freezes and crashes. I have no explanation for why I just crashed there or why it froze up. I loaded another client, tried to log back in, took me 10 minutes or so. I went to try and do something else, another interface with Aggie, and my client instantly crashed too. There were quite a few issues with the launch of this league. I know a lot of people on the Jack's accounts weren't able to log in but I have no idea why my game was just crashing every time I tried to open an interface. I lost around 30 to 40 minutes because of this. So the only fix I could really figure out was disabling every single RuneLite plugin I had on, which means today just got a lot harder as I'll be playing completely blind. I continued on farming some easy task completions like burning and then cooking a shrimp, cooking five pieces of food, achieving 100 total level, dancing in the Lumbridge graveyard, and visiting Death's Domain. And then I used Count Check to take me to the Stronghold of Security so I could get my 10k, and the fighter boots, which was another task. With that 10K, I bought myself a steel full helm from the helmet store, which I'll be using for a task later. And then I used the Chronicle teleport to take me to this guard who I pickpocketed a bunch of times, one for that task and one for the obtaining 800 coins from a coin pouch at once task. Use the money to buy a mithril and an Abbey dagger or an Addy dagger as I'll be using those later. And then I bought myself a staff of fire and pretty much spent the rest of my money on some ruins because I am gonna be maging a lot in today's video. Super close to unlocking both my second relic and my second region, I came over here and stole some tea for another task, gave it to this girl Elise for another task, bought myself a player owned house real quick for another task, and then I came over here and safe spotted it and defeated this guard, which was the last thing I needed to do to unlock my second relic. My second relic choice is going to be Fairy's Flight. This allows me to teleport to any fairy ring, spirit tree, or farming leprechaun in the game. It's going to be super useful for getting around and I think it's the best option personally. Now I'm focused on completing 25 more tasks so that I can unlock my first new region. 25 tasks of whatever to unlock the next region, it doesn't matter what tier they are. Now that I have Fairy's Flight, I used it to take me to Xanarus, which gave me a task for just entering Xanarus and for using a Fairy Ring. Then I went over to the Karamja Fairy Ring near the Karamjawi, fished a Karamjawi, and then I headed over to do the Varok Museum with no rune light, which let me tell you, it was not fun and took way too long. After that, I did some wood cutting and got some planks from the sawmill, which was another task. And I bought some nails because I'm gonna go build some stuff in my player own house later, obviously. Then I minigame teleported to fight pits as there's some tasks I wanna do in Karamja. Defeat a Tazar is 10 points. And I also trained my defense on it, which allowed me to wear that steel full helm, which I bought earlier, very smart. Went inside the fight caves and went outside the fight caves. I'm gonna need that for the diary later. Then I went over and killed a lesser demon as that's a pretty easy task too. Then I filled this crate with a bunch of bananas. I don't know why I did that, but hey, it gave me 40 points. I'm not complaining. 
Costing the home teleport gave me 10 points as well, as did using a herring on a tree, which I've never heard of in my life before. Back in Lumbridge, I chopped some trees and burned some logs for the burn oak logs task. I wasn't 50 fire making, but with the trickster relic, getting 15 fire making was very easy, as you may imagine. I went over and did some fletching, got myself 250 total level, and got the task for fletching some arrow shafts, so that was two tasks there. I milked a cow. I made some flour. We're going to be doing cook's assistant later. I also defeated a goblin, which was 10 points. Entering Drainer Manor was 10 points. Completing Vampire Slayer was 10 points. And that was also allowed me to use my Addy weapon and my Mithril weapon that I bought earlier. Getting the chair to follow me was 10 points. And so was entering my player owned house. And boom, I have 60 tasks completed and I can unlock my first region. Yo, do not skip the sponsor, okay? Look at this. It's literally an LED sign of an Elijah spirit shield. These are the new creator crafted LED signs officially licensed by Jax and they are sick. Quick and easy to set up. There are currently over 10 LED signs to choose from and they won't last long as this is the first time some of these sold out signs have been restocked in months. I personally have the LE, but look at the Iron Man and Hardcore Iron Man logos, the PK skull, the twisted bow, or you can get the OG house teleport tab, skill and icon, or the dragon med helm. Not only do they have signs, they also have OSRS themed mouse mats. Ergonomically designed, choose from the five mouse pads currently available. I'm definitely going to be getting the Leagues 4 1, but there's also one available for Gnome Stronghold and Drainer Village, as well as a PK designed mouse pad and the original Tomes of a Masket mouse pad. Now remember, this is a limited edition release, so get them before they're sold out. Go to creatorcrafted.com and use the code DITTER10 for 10% off your order. I get commission on each sale, so it's a great way to support me as well as pick yourself up something in time for the holidays. So it's time to let you guys in on the plan. I will be picking Desert as my first region. Not only does it have a ton of content and some of the most points in the league, it also unlocks Ancient Magics, which is going to be huge for me, as I'm going to be picking the Wilderness as my next region. The synergy with the Desert and the Wilderness while having Ancient Magics is huge, and is going to be one of the things that propel me really far ahead in this league. And as you guys can see, Unlocking Desert auto-completed a bunch of tasks for me, and I'm only 220 points away from my next relic. The tier three relic being 220 points away from us is huge, just as I unlocked my first region as well. 220 points is absolutely nothing, and the tier three relics are massive for us, so I'm gonna work on that right now. I defeated a moss giant for 10 points, used the range in Lumbridge Castle for 10 points, I spun a ball of wool for 10 points, and then I went to Varrock and trained some thieving, as I'm gonna need 45 thieving for the bandits and blackjacking later. Then I went south of Varok to the Dark Wizards and got my revenge on the Dark Wizards, which is a very good task if I do say so myself, before heading over to Brimhaven for the ultimate combo breaker. Entering the dungeon alone got me 10 points, reaching combat level 25 got me 10 points, and defeating the Greater Demon got me two tasks, a medium task for a combat achievement and an easy task for defeating the Greater Demon. Then I went and safe spotted a Red Dragon, which I did actually think was going to kill me, but it didn't, which got me some more points, I think that was 40 points as well, and then I buried that dragon bone, which I just got for another 40 points. 30 points away from the next relic or three easy tasks. I went through the Alcarid Gate for 10 points. I completed the Alcarid Agility course for 10 points. And to finish it off, I restored my newly found prayer points at the Lumbridge Altar for 10 points. So the tier three relic allows you to pick between Banker's Note and Fire Sale. Fire Sale means you can buy from any store in Gilinor with zero GP. You don't need any money at all. And it is really nice to people rushing on day one but the alternative is a whole lot better for someone like me. I'm picking the Wilderness next and I'll basically have an unlimited source of GP and Banker's Note allows me to unnote and note stuff in my inventory whenever I want with full ability to customize how many things I wanna unnote or note at a time. This is gonna be huge for me AFK editing these videos so I can do stuff like mining, wood cutting and fishing and then just note the resources. But it's also huge for zero timing skills like crafting as I can essentially just run around the game with unlimited noted gems unnote them and cut them while running and then renote them. There's a bunch more uses I'll get into as the league progresses, but even for just right now, I promise you guys, this is going to be one of the best relics we've ever seen in leagues. I am now 61 task completions away from unlocking the wilderness and I'm 760 league points away from unlocking my tier 4 relic, which is where things get real interesting as that is when I'm going to choose my main combat relic for this league. I'm going to work on both at the same time now, short tasks that give a lot of points, so we should have it done pretty quickly. Look how OP this trickster relic is. I only have to click once and I keep thieving. I don't have to blackjack them at all. I never get caught. Thieving is basically one of the AFK skills I can edit with. 50 thieving right there got me 40 points and a task completion for achieving my first level 50. I continued on doing this until level 65, which allows me to pickpocket the Menifite thugs, 
which got me another 40 points for thieving them 50 times. I did this all the way to 71 and got myself 80 points for achieving my first level 70 before I headed to Sophenum to fully take advantage of this thieving combo breaker. Taking the carpet and entering Sophenum was two 10 point tasks each, and with my thieving level, I was able to complete up to room six of Pyramid Plunder, which gave me six tasks ranging from easy to medium and a bunch of points as well. I killed a crocodile on my way back for 40 points, and then I took advantage of the gem store and banker's note and stocked up a bit on some sapphires so I could cut them once I got 20 crafting from buckets of sand, which was also helped by banker's note. And then I hit another combo breaker by receiving a Slayer task from Durodol. That gave me task completions for receiving a Slayer task, receiving a task from Durodol. I will use this shop to get a spiny helmet, which was another task. I also used the gem and just checked if I had a Slayer task, which was another task. And then I went and built a room in my player owned house, which I hadn't done already. I bought a steel axe because now I had GP and cut some logs with a steel axe, which was another point. I defeated an Alcarid warrior, which was a really, really good fight. And following that, I headed back to Lumbridge to load another combo breaker. I killed a cow for its cowhide, tanned the cowhide for 10 points and a task, crafted that leather into a leather body for 10 points and a task. Then I headed over to the Shante Pass. I cut a cactus for 10 points, and then I entered the Calphite layer for 10 points as well. 190 points away from the next relic, I pickpocketed a bandit in the bandit camp for 40 points, and then I killed a seagull for 10. A couple hours in, everything was looking good, and I caught up from losing 30 minutes at the start. And that's when I got jaxed again. I randomly got logged out and wasn't able to log back in. I was just kept getting hit with error messages and with no explanation or solution. I kind of just had to sit there spam logging in and after 20 minutes or so I was able to. But in a couple of hours I had already lost an hour worth of game time. Nice, I mined 10 tin. Where do I find a copper from? Mine some copper ore, let's go. Equip some black armor, let's go. Smelt the bronze board, cut a sapphire, let's go. Okay. I got myself 27 crafting so that I could use Banker's Note exactly how I explained it to you guys. As I'm running around the map, I'm going to be zero time in my crafting, unnoting the emeralds, cutting them, and then re-noting them. Okay, that's a Varrock Agility course done. Oh, I got a Mark of Grace. Mark of Grace. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's 10 laps of the Varrock course. Let's go, dude. It was a grind. 10 points. Let's go, dude. That's huge for us, boys. 10 points until the next relic. Ooh, you gained enough points to unlock a tier 4 relic. Nice. The tier 4 relic is unlocked, and here is where I make my decision on what combat style I will mainly be using throughout the league. And as I'm picking Desert and the Wilderness, where Ancient Magics is going to be huge, Choosing the magic relic is a no-brainer. Superior Sorcerer makes all my spells have an attack speed of 2 ticks, and my accuracy is increased by 175%, while my damage is increased by 20%. I also save 90% of the runes I use when casting spells. And not only that, all my mage spells have a multi-combat area effect, and my freezing spells will never splash. I'm also given a rune pouch that has 5 slots, and a book that lets me switch spell books freely, so yeah, Superior Sorcerer is the wave. Don't get me started on the TOA and the Shadow, because if I get that, it's a wrap. The tier 4 relic is huge, and I'm going to get into a lot of combat soon, but I'm also only 24 tasks away from unlocking the Wilderness, which is my next goal, so I'm going to get started on that too, as there's still a lot of easy tasks for me to complete. Bronze full helm. 23 tasks until the next area. Shit, dude. Okay, that's 17, so I can do plate skirt. Pog. 22 tasks. Who's a good boy? Them. Pet. Ooh, fossil. Travel to fossil. Now, where's this? Where's this dog? Let's go. How far north am I running nine to? All the way north. Ooh, here, here, here. Do I set them trap on the tree or just here? Lay bird snare. Let's go, snare bird. Okay, what's next? Catch an anchovy, let's go. Catch a herring, let's go. I need to do 16 more. Or let me agitate the wise old man, actually. I'd just like to ask you something. Please do. Gods and demons. Three gods. So, what did you say? Who's Zaros? Please do not speak further. So Zaros is real? Enough. Be gone. Dude, I, I just got the wise old man angry with me. Let's go. 
Oh, I can agitate Aggie. I'm not interface locked. Let's go. I actually completed it. Let's go. We're not regional. Okay, 14 tasks now. Where's this pineapple at? Ooh, okay. Now which trees am I chopping, though? There's a tree stump. Oh, it just came back. It came back. Yep, chop a log from a potato tree. Easy task done. Okay, 12 more until the next area. Let's go. Kill three chickens in six seconds. 40 points. 10 tasks until the next one. Pay three buckets of compost. One of the hardest tasks ever. Is that trash? Ooh, a thousand arrow shafts. These lizards. Shit, dude. Ooh, cast a blast spell. I should be on defensive still. Complete one Slayer toss. Let's go. Ask for an assignment from Vanico. 24 goblins. Another Slayer toss. Five more to go. Yep, smelt an iron bar. Mithril. 10 points. Are the goblins in, the, in here? Oh my god, the AoE is crazy, dude. Bro, look at the AoE, 9-2. Oh my god. Galfit Guardian. 40 points. Okay. That's one one more task until my next area. 30 defense. Let's go. Equip a full adamant set. You've completed enough tasks to unlock a new area. Is it worldy time? Yo, you guys know I'm gonna be daily uploading on this league, going for rank one as per usual. And if you do wanna support me a little further, I did just drop my merch right in time for this league. If you're gonna be gaming 20 hours a day, get yourself one of my coffee mugs to drink your coffee in, or buy one of my hoodies, crew necks, or beanies to keep you warm. There's also hats and leg wear, and the delivery times are really quick, and each purchase directly supports me. So if you are interested, go to ditterbitter.com. It'd mean the world to me if even one person watching this right now bought some of my merch. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, with all the issues I've had today and with trying to edit this video while playing, I'm not actually rank 1. You got clickbaited, but hopefully you still enjoyed. As I'm recording this outro now, I'm way ahead of where we are in the recordings, and I'm already bossing it up inside the wilderness. But I just find editing and uploading and playing all on day 1 a bit too much, so the footage is not nearly caught up to where I'm at currently. It will catch up in tomorrow's video where I'll get a lot done. I promise you guys I'll be daily uploading. So starting from tomorrow, we will really be taking advantage of the wilderness and climbing those ranks. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it, and I'll see you guys then.